Long line fishing is a method of fishing that uses a long line, called a main line, with thousands of hooks attached at intervals by means of branch lines. The main line is wound around a large spool near the front of the vessel and is dragged behind the vessel for almost 10 kilometers. The line is kept afloat by buoys attached every 15 to 25 hooks. Radio buoys at strategic intervals help the captain take note of the location of the line. The depth at which the hooks are dropped is critical and determines the kind of fish that are caught. Hooks set to hang near the surface are referred to as a pelagic long line and are used to catch large, high-value fish such as tuna and marlin. The hooks are dropped from the fishing boat and left in the sea for a few hours before the boat turns around to retrieve the catch. The crew retrieve each of the hooks and pull in any fish that have been caught until all the hooks and buoys have been retrieved. The next part of this video will show an actual long line fishing operation and will focus on proper handling of the catch in order to maximize its quality. The fishing process begins once the vessel has arrived at the fishing area. Members of the crew begin to prepare for fishing. Bait is thawed. The radio buoys are prepared. Hooks and branch lines prepared. And main line is drawn out from the super spool. Two crewmen stand at the rear of the boat. One is responsible for clipping the branch line to the main line. The other is responsible for attaching the bait to the hook. At the captain's signal, the first radio buoy is dropped into the sea. The crewmen at the stern of the boat begin to drop the hooks. The vessel has a device that controls the intervals at which the crew will drop the hooks. This device emits a sound each time a hook is to be dropped. It also indicates when it is time to drop a buoy. This is usually every 15 to 25 hooks. Each buoy has a tag with a number. This number indicates how many buoys have been dropped and therefore how many hooks. The control device also indicates when it is time to drop the radio buoy. The crew will launch a radio buoy every 500 to 700 hooks. The crew take turns dropping hooks. In the meantime, other members of the crew replace the baskets when they are empty, as well as replenish the bait. This process continues for as long as six hours and as many as 2,500 hooks, or in the case of albacore, 4,500 hooks are dropped at one time. When the last hook has been dropped, the captain will stop the vessel and the crew will rest for approximately four hours. After four hours have elapsed, the captain will turn the boat around and will use the GPS system to locate the last radio buoy dropped. This time, the super spool will reverse and pull in the main line. A crew member at the front of the boat controls the process by grabbing the clip of the branch line and passing it to the crew beside him. This crewman pulls in the fish line and hook while taking care to carefully coil the line back into the barrel in the process. Some vessels with large crews have three to four crewmen pulling in the branch lines at the same time. Returning the branch lines to the barrel is a critical procedure and the lines must be returned carefully in the proper sequence to avoid tangling. The next time the hooks and lines in this barrel are used again, the last line returned will be the first one used. As long as this last in first out process is done, there is no danger of lines getting tangled. A buoy is pulled in every 15 to 25 hooks. This buoy is returned to its storage place along with its number tag.
When a fish is caught, the vessel slows down and the crew pull in the fish. Pulling in the fish and preparing it for storage is the most important part of the fishing procedure and determines the quality of the fish. The crew use gaffs to pull in the fish while another crew member is on standby with a club. The gaff hooks the tuna at the head and use it for pulling the fish on board. Once the tuna is on board, it is immediately struck on the head with a club to kill it quickly. This is done to prevent the fish from struggling, which degrades the flesh of the fish and reduces its value. Another crew member quickly takes the hook and puts it aside. It will be attached to another branch line later. The tuna must then be drained of its blood. This is done by stabbing the tuna behind the pectoral fin on both sides and by slicing its tail at the lateral line. Sometimes the tuna is hung upside down to assist in the draining. When the tuna has completely drained of blood, the crewman reaches into the gills and pulls out the guts for disposal. Only the guts and gills should be removed. Leave the membrane between the gut and the rest of the body intact. This membrane is a natural barrier to enzymes and bacteria entering the flesh of the fish. The inside of the fish is rinsed clean with water. The tuna is then wiped clean both inside and outside. Ice is placed inside the tuna's body cavity and it is then placed in cold storage. For fresh tuna, the storage area is a brine solution. For fresh chilled tuna, the storage area is a refrigerated chiller that stores the fish at minus one degrees. And for frozen tuna, the storage temperature should be at minus 35 or minus 60 degrees. The crew will now resume pulling in the rest of the hooks until they come to the last radio buoy. The fishing process ends and the crew break for the next day. Deep sea fishing is a dangerous occupation so it is very important to observe correct safety procedures. Always wear safety gear such as gloves and rubber boots. Rubber boots protect you from the most common accidents during fishing. Shark bites. Getting speared by swordfish. And wounds from fish hooks. The front of the receiving area of the boat is a dangerous place. Stay at the sides to avoid an accident. Wear proper rain gear during rainy weather. <laughs>